for Andre Berto, who tested positive for steroids. Moving up from junior welterweight and with only 17 knockouts and 29 victories, few gave Lopez a real chance of beating Ortiz, who had his sights set on a September 15th Mexican Independence Day fight against Saul Canelo Alvarez. As expected, things started off well for Ortiz in the fight, but then Lopez landed a big sweeping left hook that backed Ortiz up. And it was Ortiz who actually stopped the fight at the end of the ninth round due to a broken jaw. He said he broke it in the fifth, but then it locked in the ninth, and a bone cut through an artery causing excessive bleeding. And this was the scene after the upset victory. Now it's time to keep your edge with Just For Men mustache and beard. In his upset win over Victor Ortiz, Josecito Lopez stuck with power punching throughout the fight. Over 36% of his landed punches were power shots. 40% of those landed power shots came over the final three rounds, making the difference. And Josecito Lopez's upset victory over Ortiz and Timothy Bradley's decision to stay at welterweight caused a shakeup in the ring magazine ratings. Ortiz drops from number three to number 10, while Josecito Lopez, who was unranked at either 140 or 147 pounds, enters the rankings at number nine. Pacquiao and Mayweather retain the top spots, and despite his steroid issues, Andre Berto jumps into Ortiz's position at number three, while everyone from four to eight moves up a slot in the rankings as well. For now, uh, we head back to Corona, California, where Josecito Lopez, who's a local favorite in the Inland Empire, didn't have to travel far from his home in Riverside, and now he's sitting ringside with Joe and Teddy. Josecito, first off, a real pleasure to be with you this week, and congratulations. Uh, thrill for us because we saw where you came from. You were on Friday Night Fights just a year ago. You scored a TKO victory against Mike Dallas, who at the time was a highly hyped, unbeaten prospect. What has this week been like for you? It's been crazy, man. I, I've been trying to find time to rest, uh, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I love it. Um, you know, I, f I feel like I'm giving back to, to all the people that have uh, been behind me for the past nine years. We'll give you and Teddy an opportunity to review how you've arrived at this point as we show your victory against Victor Ortiz. Uh, Teddy, your thoughts and reflections as to how this guy performed last weekend? Well, first of all, as far as the technical part of it, I thought you made an adjustment earlier. You were looking for right hands, which we look for against our pause, and you were doing pretty good with them. But then around the seventh round, you switched to uppercuts. And boy, oh boy, did you find a home with those uppercuts. And to me, that turned the fight around. But this business is always about this. You know that. Going into this fight, I was saying that Ortiz is bigger and stronger than you. But then I thought, but Lopez might be too tough for him. That's what he's going to have to win on. And in the end, you won on your toughness. But, and please, be honest. You're an honest fighter. You get in that ring honestly. And you fought honestly. In that fifth round, the turning point to me was when you got hit behind the head. And I don't think it was reflected properly on television how big a shot that was and how that affected you. It was a hard shot. And it was in a very vulnerable area. There's a reason why there's no such thing allowed as rapid punching, why you can't punch back there. And you got hit a hell of a shot there. And for a moment there, it looked like, we always say in boxing, same as a hero and coward in a war. The difference is in what they do, not what they feel. The hero feels not sure of himself, but he makes a decision to do it. That's what counts. It looked for a moment there, when you got hit behind the head in that fifth round, that you just weren't sure what you were going to do. And then you were sure, and you made your decision. Yeah, you know what? It, it took me a few seconds, uh, you know, because it, it, it was a bad punch. And, and I did feel a pull, you know, but I had to compose myself and, and, and get back in there and fight. And from that point on, you took the fight over. You made that adjustment to uppercuts in the seventh round, but... It just looked like you were the tougher guy. That it almost looked like once you went through that, you said, I can go through the rest of it. I am tougher than him. I mean, to me, that's what you were projecting. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I, I had a hard preparation. Um, I, I went there to win. I, we took the fight because we believed we can beat Victor Ortiz, and uh, I wasn't going to go home without a victory. Oh, Zito, your life was a hard preparation to arrive at this point. You haven't had the easiest road to success in this sport of having a belt in front of you and understanding that paydays could be coming your way. You grew up not in front in, in great circumstances in nearby Riverside. The circumstances with your father obviously tested you. He was sent away some years ago. How much did that factor in when you were digging deep, both in the preparation and in the midst of that fight? You know what? I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter in life. 
you know, I, I have had to have everything the hard way. Um, so I knew I wasn't going to have it easy, and I knew going into this fight it was going to be a war, and I wasn't going to going to win an easy fight. And uh, I'd have to go through through uh, through a war to get a victory, and that's what I was willing to do. What does this mean for you in the business of boxing now? You kind of disrupted things the other day. Uh, a September date was set for Victor Ortiz. Uh, how did you take that, and where do you think you now stand? Uh, you know what? I hope I feel like I'm in a great position. Uh, the the biggest and best thing for me is that it opens doors. It gives me options. You know, I, I don't just have to fight anyone that they put in front of me now. You know, now it's it's uh, making the sm a smart the right decisions and uh, you know excelling in my career. So uh, I'm excited for what's to come. And and uh, I know put me in the ring with anybody I, as long as I have a, a great preparation I, I'm, I'll give anybody a fight well congratulations once again it's nice to see your return to Friday night fights with a lot of success and a smile on your face thank you thank you I appreciate it it's nice coming back to 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 where I started and uh, it, it's great Jose Zito Lopez celebrating his big victory last weekend at Staples Center over Victor Ortiz our co-feature set to come your way when we return Chris Martin's getting ready Starting this Friday and all weekend long, Burger King is celebrating the 4th with the original chicken sandwich for just $1.04. Hurry in for a taste of a true American original, the original chicken sandwich, just $1.04, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.